Okay, um, so two more things I want to deal with. One is we've gone through the summer, we've had the lambs, basically the lamb numbers are declining the whole time. The lucerne's shutting down because it's getting dry. What's your autumn management, your autumn and winter management of your lucerne crops? Yep, so the, uh, the autumn will have, um, uh, if there's a, um, uh, depending season on the season, um, you know, autumn we can get a bit of a flush, but we um, try and um, we might rest a couple paddocks, you know, that uh, a bit um, might have been overgrazed or something like that, and we try and rest um, a, a different, you know, area of that autumn period um, every year, you know, alternating. And um, yep, so um, that's uh, that's the autumn. We'll have um, once all the lambs are gone, um, we'll be say we're looking at maybe May about that May time is, um, you know, the, it's starting to get cold, the lucerne just isn't, it just shutting down. Much stops growing, yep. yeah. Um, so um, we just destock it and we'll put on, um, we'll bring in our mobs of cattle, um, which lines up actually uh, with the other um, with the other farming systems, is so we can actually bring these cattle up and they actually do really, still really well off what, what's there. Um, you know, they can get around the gullies, they're eating a little bit of that leftover residual um, lucerne and, and really tidying it up. They're also eating, um, knocking back a lot of the weeds. Um, you know, they knock them back, um, yeah. And then um, over winter, it's locked up. Um, the cattle are taken off, it's locked up. So give me some timings here. So you said uh, May, yep. May the cattle are coming in or are yep. they coming in before then? Uh, probably uh, about the middle of April. Okay, and yep. what when we say cattle, what 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 animals? Uh, we are just it? use we just use anything that we have available, but usually there'll be R two um, finishing cattle. Yep. And the lucerne isn't lush, so it's it's yep. hardened off and it's got some dead material, and so you're not really concerned about any animal health issues. Not not at all, and we actually find they actually do surprisingly well. Yep, you know they're able to um, you know get around the hill, and usually they've been on the flats all all um, summer and stuff, and, re and they're in really good condition. Um, so you know they'll they'll still be um, actually gaining gaining weight because um, there's still a wee bit of that um, residual good quality loosen, but they said it's hardened off, so they yep we don't get any problems. At all. And how long might they be on? Is that a six week yep, period or something about like that? Four to six weeks. Um, a bit of a rotation and really tidy the blocks up. Also, it t they tidy the. Uh, um, the, all the gullies up of that um, might be like a bit of rank grass and stuff, so it actually um, that grass is able to come back and it's really good quality. So it then becomes yep. good quality again yep. in the spring for the for the hoggets yep. that come back the next year. Yep. So it all all works hand in hand, um, and then they're taken off yeah at the end of May, um, and then it's just locked up, um, and we'll do our winter spray. Yep. Um, so so when does that happen? Yep. So we we try and um, spray it in uh, in that well, early August kind of thing. Right. Yep, yep. So we don't want the lucerne uh, growing too much either, because it knocks it does knock it back a bit. Um, but within two or three weeks, it, it come comes right again. Yep. And so, tell me, um, this is sort of point country, so we're not traditional valley floor stuff here. So I'm assuming the lucerne might actually continue to grow quite a bit through that winter period. Yep. Because you're you're elevated and a little bit warmer. Yep. Yeah. So we're lucky um, where we are. Here is we um, we don't get uh, too many frosts. Yep, we might only get one or two frosts. The next to us <laughs> yeah. right here. Yep, yeah. So um, yep, we're pretty lucky um, with that. And yeah, it actually does tick away. Yep, it's just quietly ticking away. Um, so I think, and that helps as well with our um, our spring cover when we set stock. It's already up and racing. You know, as soon as it, we actually find in that uh, late winter we get a lot more growth than say like our, our paddocks lower in the valley. So, um, and, and we're still catching a wee bit of that moisture as well. So that 30 centimetres, 25, 30 centimetres that we're lambing onto, can you just tell me um, again the date of that? When, does, when, are, we, when are we lambing? Uh, so we're um, starting lambing the end of September. Yep. So that lucerne's been growing pretty much through September then. You yep. said you've, you did your spray in August. It yep. probably doesn't do very much in August, but yep. most of September you've got some growth happening yep. of that and it's giving you some cover that you can then lamb onto. Yep. Yep. That's great. Mm. Okay.